Let's do the Legal Minute now with Martin Harding and Mazzotti. We got Ben in for Paul Harding. 1-800-LAW-1010 for those guys. Good morning, Ben. Good morning, Mike. Good hey. morning, Mary. Good morning, Ben. Listen, you know, I was getting my hot coffee this morning, and as I was uh, I was thinking about spilling it on myself to try and make a million bucks like that lady did a few years ago. because it was so Christmas hot. Is it was coming steamy hot this morning. I saw that it was like steaming. I really want an ATV is what I'm saying for Christmas, <laughs> and I... I'm thinking that's the quickest way to it. Okay, well, it's not the quickest way to it. No. Uh, you're going to have some hurdles to overcome, and it's probably going to take a couple of years to get that through the uh, the court process. Um, so not by the end of the month? <laughs> not by the end of the month, <laughs> certainly not. All right. All right. Uh, but I, I, think, I think what you're referencing is a case from uh, actually a couple of decades ago now. That case is a case that was filed by a woman named Stella Liebeck against McDonald's back, I believe, in 1994. Miss Liebeck was a 79-year-old woman. She was in a parked car opening up uh, her McDonald's coffee that she purchased for like 50 cents in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and she spilled it on her groin area, inner thighs, um, and all of those very sensitive parts of her body. She was wearing sweatpants, and the cotton absorbed it, and she received third-degree burns. Oh. Way to make me sound like a jerk for joking about it. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. My wow, I didn't know it was that bad. Yeah, the facts of the case, it's really interesting because the case was used by really corporate lawyers and franchisees like McDonald's to cast this evil you know, light on personal injuries and frivolous lawsuits. The jury said, McDonald's, to teach you a lesson we're going to award Stella $2.5 million, $2.7 million, somewhere in there, of what are called punitive damages. And that was intended to send a message to McDonald's, don't do this again. But what happened after that is that the judge who heard the case reduced all of those damages. So Stella, at the end of the day, at the end of all of this, legal fees, et cetera, Stella really didn't make out at all. She wow. really received a very a minimal amount of money compared to what the public perceives as oh. her receiving. So yeah, no kidding. Interesting. really kind of a, a confused case. The media had yeah. a had a frenzy with it. But well, yeah, so yeah. I guess the point is, is, uh, you know, hold on to that coffee tight. Nowadays, there's better packaging, which came out of that case, you know, McDonald's and Starbucks and the like, they package their coffee differently. They have different cups, but it's not going to be a short trip to the, to the bank. I can tell you that much. All right. Well, hey, Ben, thank you for clearing that up. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mary.